What up, GG? This is Arnaldo, aka Mad Dog, and I am here to talk to you about some indie games. I uh, was able to watch many of uh, the trailers that were shown off at E3, uh, so I wanted to put together a nice uh, top 10 list of the games that I am really into uh, that are going to be coming out soon. Some more down the road, uh, but overall, uh, definitely coming soon. So I'm going to start off right at the top with Immortality, which is the newest game from Sam Barlow. Uh, this is the creator of Her Story, which is a game uh, that included a lot of uh, live action video, uh, and it received a lot of high praise. Uh, and this here, of course, this trailer is about his next game, and it is a highly anticipated one. I never really got into Her Story, but I understood its uh, appeal and uh, looking forward to seeing what he can do with a little bit more money. Uh, this one will be published. Uh, he'll have a pub publisher for this one. Next one on the list is White Shadow. Uh, this is from the developer Monocal. Uh, comes a, it's a very strange yet mesmerizing black and white platformer. Uh, I first saw this when it was shown off at Gamescom last year. Uh, the visuals are breathtaking if you just look at it, and I really cannot wait to see more uh, of it. Next one I have is Unmetal, uh, which is a 2D stealth action game by Versus Evil. Uh, clearly it's wearing its Metal Gear influence on its sleeve uh, and this game looks like it's going to be a lot of fun and maybe even a lot of laughs. Our next one is Summerville. Uh, and this is a new, from a new indie developer called Jump Ship. Uh, you may not know the name Jump Ship but you may know uh, the ex-CEO and co-founder uh, of Playdead is actually one of the members of Jump Ship. And clearly, Somerville uh, takes some inspiration from their prior works, uh, Playdead's prior works, which is Limbo and Inside. Uh, this looks to be another side-scrolling cinematic puzzler and also looks very cool. Our next one up is Death's Door. Uh, this one here is an action uh, action RPG, excuse me, from Acid Nerve, makers of Titan Souls. Uh, this, of course, is also coming from the publisher Devolver Digital. Uh, it looks really cool, and if anybody's ever played Titan Souls, you know uh, Titan Souls, excuse me, you'll know that uh, they they make uh, some decent games. This is a developer with just two people, uh, and they obviously have lots of talent. Looking forward to seeing what they bring. Our next one is Planet of Lana. This was shown off at the Xbox uh, Bethesda press conference. Uh, first scene, I believe it is a, an exclusive at the moment. Uh, this is a hand-drawn cinematic puzzle adventure game uh, by another newcomer called Wishfully. Uh, and you can see just by the uh, visuals, it has a very Ori in the Blind Forest. Just this beautifully uh, hand-drawn look and cannot wait to see more on this one as well. Our next one is Far Changing Tides. Uh, this is from developer Okomotive. Uh, these are the creators behind the award-winning Far Lone Sales, which I did play and I really, really did love. Uh, looks to be pretty much a, a direct sequel, atmospheric puzzle platformer with what can only be uh, said as some really amazing visuals. Uh, looking forward to this one. And we're down to our top three. Uh, I'm going to try not to butcher this name. This is Vocabulantis uh, by a team of the same name. 
and as you can see it is a stop motion puzzle platform They're actually using stop motion uh, filming uh, to make the game uh, and it looks just too cool for school uh, it is very early in development though that's probably the only downfall on this one uh, not expected till 2024 uh, it is currently available on Indiegogo if you're interested at all in supporting them Then our next one is Trek to Yomi. This one blew me away when I first saw it. Uh, coming from Flying Wild Hog, uh, another Devolver digital joint. And as you can see, some really beautiful black and white uh, uh, visuals. This is a, appears to be a side scrolling uh, samurai game. Uh, again, very similar to Limbo and Inside, probably a little bit more obviously action based. Uh, as Inside and Limbo were much more <laughs> uh, really high, uh, run and hide. But this one uh, obviously is going to have a little bit more combat, and I am so stoked for it. And coming in at number one is should be no surprise to anybody who caught our. Uh, our recap of Microsoft Bethesda Conference and that is replaced by Sad Cat Studios. This is their very first game uh, and they're calling it a cinematic action platformer. But uh, what really sticks out is this amazing stylus, uh, stylish pixel art. And uh, I cannot wait to see more on this one. Hopefully uh, it will come out soon. 